Hello, this is Palico Page, and welcome back to another episode of Claw's Expedition 2, all the DLC playthrough. Now, first things first, I need to apologise for not uploading over the last week. December is a busy time for my young family, and as well as having stuff going on at school, I've also got Christmas dues I'm going to myself, and I just haven't had a lot of free time. So you may find it's a little bit speckly during December and the start of January, but don't worry, I'm not going anywhere, it just... It's just a bit mad at the moment, so I will upload as and when I am available to. But by the by, enough of the foreplay, let's get straight to the penetration. And that penetration today is with the Beastmaster, or Beast Shaman, I suppose is the way to put it. Beastmaster's a friendly folk, Beast Shaman, not so much. But he, he well, he wants to start a fisticuff, so let's oblige him, shall we? Oh, he's not that bad, I thought we were worse than that, in all fairness. Uh, we've got our marksman trait all ready to rock. Let's see what we can put up. Mm, not a bad start. Um, let's re-roll. I mean, that's a okay. Blue would be all right, I suppose. Three random enemies. We could do some more reds if that's the case. We'd be able to knock down the hyenas pretty much straight off. I mean, if we had one more red. Any of these red? Oh, we've got a fair few reds there. Let, let's see what happens with the reds. We'll keep the rest as is, I think. Yeah, we'll keep the rest as is and hope for one more red. That'll do, Chuck. All right. So. We put weaknesses on and electrocute. So we first buy that. Hmm. I think it's out and out hitting of people right now. So. Let's do. Do I want them to have a hit or do I just want to kill them outright? That's the real question here, isn't it? Damage of 13. That's not too shabby either. Right, so we're going to do that. So that should finish off. Oh. I'll do it properly. That should finish off the hyenas. Nice. Then we'll throw up the extra electrocute. 53 with an electrocute of 8. Uh, no. Mm, not that first by the weakness. So let's put on full on electrocute as well. And that should hopefully be enough to finish him off. I mean, we're going to take one hit, but that's neither here nor there pop cool what we got oh look at the meat totem sticks ram into the ground to ward off enemies and we got the headdress as well cool can we carry all this oh we, uh, we're doing all right then. we're doing all right so prove the existence of the monster i mean yeah we can do that we're floating around that's where we need to be Uh We may have to call upon the boat to come to us, but we'll try and cover as much as we can in the meantime. I mean, we can see where we need to be as far as that's concerned. So it'd be rude not to explore around here a little bit. So let's eat those first. Uh, let's get another word with the trader. He might have something. Plus, we can see from up above what is around here. Oh. Oh. Maybe it's not that easy. we we'll have to do a few teleportations. But by the by. To my surprise, I encountered a colourfully dressed travelling merchant. He was bowed beneath a heavy pack, but cheerfully greeted me with a wave. Cooey! Right, let's see what he's got. What do you have, friend? Uh, no goldy stuff, which is alright, I suppose. How are we decked out right now? What do you do? Finesse challenge bonus. All for the blues. I mean, do we have space? Not really. I mean... Sexton isn't that good. We could offset it. I mean, do we need the challenge bonus? I think we're doing all right. I think we're doing okay. However, how are we for sanity type stuff? We've got six whiskeys. Hmm. We have no medikits, though. And we have two humans. Let's get rid of... 
let's get rid of the bird calls for the medikits and you can also have a tooth awesome uh, and now we need to go up here let's get to here first oh Ein village they, they don't hate us too much right now which is a good thing let's go to the other side of the village and just see if there's anything above here uh, or not let's let's go up on the hill then i suppose oh there is you know hmm We'll go and have a mooch. Well, that wasn't worth it. But dumb. I encountered a hunter's cabin out in that trackless wilderness. It seemed that its owner preferred a solitary existence out among the wildlife. I can't blame him. I hate people too. Let's have a look at the trading. Hmm. 12 fame for 10 gold. Can we do anything with that? That's the same. Get rid of the totem sticks. That'll do. Can we steal from him? Of course we can. Mango. Oh, non, non the wiser, my friend. Oh, I'll tell you what. He is good. He is good. Uh, let's eat some. Before they go off. We'll go back to the village and then we'll go and have a, a teleport. A group of islanders had gathered and were eyeing Piper Faraday suspiciously. Oh, I soon realised that they were unused to women and her presence was making them fearful. Uh, they are a scary sex, that's for sure. The villagers cast uneasy glances in my direction. My reputation here was clearly poor. Why? Just for turning up? It was minus two a second ago. All right. What we got? What is that? Guandao. Heavy pole weapon, reclining moon blade, strong blade with a spike at the back. That sounds amazing. And what are you? Spear. Meh. But that Guandao. What do you do? Bleeds? Quite heavy on the damage. That's not too shabby. That is not too shabby. If we were to take that, and we would give you hmm. swapping red for green. Eight of a plus ten damage. Or retaliation damage. Quite heavy retaliation damage. Compared to what are you? Bleeds of eight and eighteen. Hmm. What level is it? Five? So if we got rid of the spiked club and the spear and took that spear as well, we're still in good standing. Now do me. Will that do me? No, that won't do me because we're still. Hang on, Buttercup. What's going on here? What, what's everyone holding? So we've got a bike here. DLC stuff. Rubbish spear, which we're looking at replacing. Oh, so we're actually going to. Okay. So if I'm giving up reds, which I do have an excess of, I just really like the look of that. I mean, the electrocutes have worked out well so far. Hmm. 
That is a DLC weapon for sure. Ah, okay. So I'm going to put that back. Four. Uh, do I take that back as well? No. Do you like that more? Definitely not. Uh, yeah, I'll take that, I suppose. Poison plus two standing. I suppose it's not too bad a position to be in. Keeps them happy. So I'll ask about the monster next. I asked in the village for word about the great beast of legend. They reacted with fear, clearly recognising the description. One man stepped forward and told me that the thing had terrorised their people, emerging at night to hunt throughout the region. It had already slain several unlucky villagers. Unfortunately, they had not yet located the lair of the beast. Perhaps if I could uncover the lair and stay on good terms here, the villagers would could be persuaded to help or we could steal from them oh no hang on a sec no let's let's scrap that for a second so uh what are we gonna do you are gonna be having that awesome then we're gonna steal from them hooray Alfred Gray splashed a grin and revealed what he had taken I had to admire his skill it seemed that the feds were gonna notice some red berries that'll do do I want to rest for free? Hmm. Probably not. The next time I had the feeling of being watched. Yeah, figured it was much. Hey ho, never mind. So let's eat all the meat. Now, cocaine. There it is. It is cooked very well. Thank you. And that should free up a little bit of space as well. One. Okay. Let's use the go board as well. I got out the board and prepared to sit down next to the fire. Billy! I asked Billy Gill to play with me. The fire crackled in the background and we were completely engrossed in the game. I'll give it a go. Hey! The reason I'm the boss man here, Billy. With my outstanding strategies, I completed the match within a couple of moves. Billy Gill was impressed by my wit and told me he had enjoyed our game. Cool. Right, so we've been followed. Good time, Scarper. Yoink. Let's go check out what this is. I mean, we're on a very small island here. Oh, it is a shrine. I arrived at a majestic stone structure. I could hear the roar of turbulent water as if great river lay buried beneath my feet. We can do this. Uh, traps. I don't see no stinking traps. Oh. Just in case. Ha 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 ha. Glad I did that. As I ran my hand over the rough surface of a wall, a string of arcane runes flared to life, seeming to carve themselves into the stone before my very eyes. I studied the writing, my mind becoming strangely focused. I found myself speaking words I'd never heard before, chanting their strange song against my will. I lost consciousness briefly. When I came to, an inner glow suffused my being. Blessing of capacity. That is useful. So, water. Take it all. We'll deal with it in a second. Yeah, floods, etc, etc. Oh, no. A group of island warriors appeared out of nowhere. They must have been following me since I left their village. They demanded I pay tribute to balance my sacrilege. How much do they want? How much do they want? I mean, I've got a tooth. How's a tooth sound? Beetles? You like the beetles, shiny beetles. Um, um, torch. There we go. Keeps them happy. Uh, we were able to agree on terms with the warriors. Their work done. They disappeared as swiftly as they had appeared. So much for honor. It's all about the monies. Right. So let's jump over here. Uh, we're good. Oh. I would approach the shipwreck. I came across an astounding discovery. The wreck of what looked like an old British Navy ship. I couldn't help but wonder how it had come to rest here. What are we going to do? I mean, we can search thoroughly. Um, I'll search it myself. Ugh. We're not good on the greens. I'll be completely honest with you. Uh, we'll do a quick search. I didn't want to take the risk of an accident in the rotten ship. I contented myself with a crate that had fallen outside. Oh, it's a weather balloon. All right, let's crack on. 
Shazam. Nice. So. Are we still nowhere near? Well, okay then. Um... Let's do the meteor. We came across an astounding sight. The crater of a fallen meteorite. Uh, we'll go and pick it up. I'll climb down. Blue and green. Uh, we'll use the last one. No, we won't. We need the last one. We need the last one. Ta-da! So, we have a meteorite. I stashed a piece of meteorite in the satchel. Who knew what use I would find with it? Am I still being chased by water? Or has it actually left me alone now? Don't suppose I'll know until I move. Oh, Juby's ready. Needle plant needles? What in the hell are they? Hard as iron and sharp enough to pierce the thickest hide. And they've got fame to them. Cool. Um, let's see what's around us. Yeah, we know we've got to go there. What about the other one? Oh, what's that? That's cool. Stone statue. Well, I mean, we're not going to get to it. Because how much everything's out for us at the moment. But, hey. Noted. Uh, animal shelter. I mean, I'm being chased by water here. That's not good. Can't get to the village. I think I'm just going to have to make a scarf for it here. Uh, let's cancel that. Cancel, cancel, cancel. I can approach animal shelter. We can fit that in. At the clearing, I encountered three tanukis. Come to buy a number of animals. Uh... Barter. What you got? What's my guy got? Oh, he's got... Ooh. It's going to be upgraded. We'll do that in a minute. Um, Yeah, we don't really want to be replacing that, in all fairness. What are you? Saki. Mm, no. We're good. However, we can steal. Hey, hey. We... We've taken a horse, yeah? No? Oh, no. Okay. Alfie Gray's flashed a grin. He's good. He's good. That'll do. Uh, so. This is where we need to be. Oh, I'm overburdened. Um, is anyone upset with me right now? All right, four, 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 four. No. We'll drop it. And uh, we'll go to here, because this is where we need to go to. And uh, approach the monster's lair. I approach the mouth of the cave trepidatiously, trepidatiously. Not sure what to expect. Bones littered the area with a foul bestial scent filled my nostrils. Oh. It seemed that the mist had some basis in reality. I'd, I'd have to brave its lair if I couldn't convince the locals to lend a hand. Hang on. I've saved a bloody torch for this and I can't use it. I have to do it the old-fashioned way. Ugh. That was lucky. Moving carefully, I made my way into the cave. After some time, my eyes adjusted and I was able to make out my way ahead. The stench grew strong as I proceeded into the bowels of the cave and it wasn't long before I saw the outline of a great beast. It seemed the mists were true and the figure that loomed before us was truly a creature of legend. Well, let's, let's kill it then. Bringing a trophy of the great thing would provide the proof that I had come here to find. What are you immune to? Stun and weakness. Awesome! Oh, we smell you too. Uh, right, so let's put our fame up. it fame we'll probably live forever maybe I'll have to double check that oh good 
So, do I want to put strength on us all? Or do I want to have an extra hard hit? I don't think it's strength at this point. Pop. Right. So, big hit. Mm. He bleeds, that's for sure. Uh, tens on the bonus. 17 on the bonus, including bleeding. That's probably the best one to go for. So you, 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 and you. We'll leave the electrocute. We'll add that on, just for fun. And then... Should have put the weakness... Oh, no, he's, not, he's immune to weakness, isn't he? Seven electrocution. So that'd be the best way to go about it. I mean, all in at this point. Let's, let's not beat about the, the mole. Awesome. I'll take that. Uh, fame again. Fame again. Let's re-roll what we've got left. Right. So. Let the greens out of the way. Can we get 97 off this? Hmm, maybe we're just better going for the shots. 50. 50, 50, 50. Uh, it's 36. Uh, it's 45. 30. 41. Thirty forty-one with electrocute of 8. So that's 50 bang on, but we would take a hit. That's probably the best way to guarantee it then. I mean, we've got the bleed anyway in the electrocute. No, just the electrocute this time now, but that should be sufficient. Oh, yeah, sorry, I've got to press end turn, don't I? There we go. Oh, look at that skin. Beautiful. The creature was ferocious, but I'd proven myself against it. My grizzly trophies would soon hold a place in honour in the museum at Lux Labs. Triumph! Huzzah! Etc, etc. So, there we go. All done. The Monster of Legend down. Skinned. Don't know what the hell we're going to do with it. Have you ever heard of a mole rat rug? It doesn't have the same allure as a bear skin rug. Uh, so... Yeah, we'll leave them to it on that regard. Uh, what else we got? Treasures. Look at all those tokens. 37 tickets. Not too shabby. And, oh, rubber gloves. They always come in useful. Look at these perks. We have zoom lens with ears nearby natural hideouts. Stealth reduces chance of triggering combat. Negotiation, more money. Lone survivor. Survive a little longer when all alone. Or Lux Labs Treasure Pirate. Receive a free workshop treasure map for each island. I mean, that's all well and good, but can we just dig up anyway? Do we, Or do we need a shovel? I do not know. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. And there we are, back in Gay Paris, all ready to rock, in the final mission for 1892. But... I'm jumping ahead of myself. That'll be next time around. And I've got to go off to pick up my boy. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy.